Yo guys, somebody please tell me this is not real. I know we get rumors and you know stuff getting floated around sneak me all the time and you know sometimes it happens and sometimes it's just wholly far-fetched but we've been hearing about this from some Nike execs, some people behind the scenes that we could see probably the craziest restock of all time and it all makes sense and we're gonna talk about it in today's video man. Let's get right into it. Wait a minute. Yo, what's going on everybody on YouTube, man? Thank you guys so much for tapping in. You know what I'm saying? Another video from your boy DaVinci's. Thank you so much for pulling up. If you guys are new here to the channel, you're already rocking out with the vibes. Right now, we need everybody to do, man. Hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any content that we do drop. And if you guys do got the notification bell on, man, please drop that bell emoji down below in the comment section. Of course, nonetheless, bruh, y'all here. Go ahead and do your boy a solid. Leave a huge like on today's video. You guys know the mics go a long way. And it shows YouTube. You guys are enjoying the content, man. I know you guys already know the spiel. You already know exactly what I'm going to say. So that's why I took a little quick pause. You guys can finish some of the stuff I say, you know, without me even saying it all the way. Because you guys have been rocking out with your boy for a little minute now. All right, guys. You've seen the news. You've seen the details and all the videos and Instagram posts. And you seen it, bro. We're supposed to be getting another off-white, the official 10 release. Now, this is the only off-white that I do have. And I think it's important for me to show this one right here because this wasn't a part of the original 10. This is way after the original 10 that Nike did do. And the first one, I actually had to pay resale on. This is the only kind of feasible and the only one I could actually afford when it comes to, you know, off-white Jordan and Nike and stuff like that, man. But you guys seen the post. I'm going to put a picture up here. This is the picture that's getting floated all around the internet. Of course, this is, you know, the official 10 or the first 10 off-white that Nike did do back in 2016 or 2015. I forget the year. And that was early on when I first started buying sneakers. And, you know, that's when I first got introduced to the Nike sneakers app. And it was doing shop drops after shop drops. That 10 collection was going down in history. But like that one right there kind of woke everybody up to Virgil. Even though he was already known with Louis Vuitton and stuff like that. But I kind of just boosted up Nike and Jordan overall. Because you guys know the sneaker that everybody loves to this day. is just, you know, super hard to obtain is the Jordan 1 Chicago Off-White. I truly cannot believe Nike and Jordan let Virgil mess with that, you know, classic nostalgic sneaker, the Air Jordan 1 Chicago's. And after that, you know, Off-White drop, we did get another kind of rendition to the Chicago's with the Lost and Founds. But you guys can be honest, can't nothing top the Off-White Chicago Off-Whites that are literally going for over the 8,000, 9,000, I even seen a pair going for like $15,000. I'm like, yo, who is paying this for this off-white Jordan 1 Chicago? And it's people actually doing it, bro. I just mean myself, that ain't happening. I would never do that. But hopefully with this restock that we have been hearing about, it actually does happen. Because you guys know well, that's going to help us out tremendously. And here's why. So if you guys do not know, the majority of these pairs that's kind of getting, you know, hell right now, are in these resale shops. You go to any, you know, resale shop, consignment shop, you see these off-whites in there and they're going for thousands of dollars. And that's kind of, with this restock, it's going to drop that resale down tremendously. Probably nothing crazy like we've seen with Yeezy, you know, like the Turtle Doves and the Power Blacks that were originally going for like thousands of dollars. But after a couple of restocks, that resale dropped tremendously. And now you see a lot of people out there actually getting that grill in the Turtle Doves and the Power Blacks. So if this restock does happen, if they do, it you know where's a lot of stock you know not too crazy but enough to kind of get filtrated throughout the community this will definitely help us out tremendously so hopefully nike jordan ain't just throwing out false rumors this has been the crazy year for sneakers they've been giving us dope collabs dope og colorways and you guys know next year we getting you know the big bang galaxy you know phone posits we getting jordan 4 white cements we getting this air jordan 1 bread Heidi Five, just a lot of stuff happening, and I do not push this idea of a restock of the Off-White 10 collection to actually restock, man. That'd be crazy, bro. That'd be crazy, and hopefully put the most stock towards the Off-White Chicago's, because we haven't got a Chicago one in a minute since the Lost and Founds, and then before that, the Off-Whites and the original drop back in 2015 for that Chicago Edge of the One. So you guys let me know how you feel about it, man. I'm super excited just hearing the idea of a restock this ain't just you know stuff that people out there just clickbait and it's stuff that we've been hearing stuff that happened behind the scenes 
and just you know super imperative for me to come on here and chop it up with you guys see what you think about it see if you believe it see if you think it's actually going to happen and again i do not put it past nike i don't put it past jordan because we be seeing crazy restocks out of nowhere and uh point in case the dorm becker Air Jordan 7s, and I believe, which other, it was another DB, the phone posit DB, actually restocked a couple years ago when I lived in Germany, and that pair released, you know, five, six years before that restock happened, so do not put it past Nike, do not put it past Jordan brand, we could definitely see another restock of some off-whites coming through, and probably paying homage to Virgil, and of course, the anniversary, I think it's going to be like the 36 or 37, some crazy odd number four anniversary for Jordan brand next year, so we shall see it, man, I don't know if it's happening this year, next year, I'm of course give you guys more details and updates as soon as more information does come out. So you guys just stay tuned for that by subscribing and notification bell for your boy. Super excited in this video. Sorry, I probably talk super fast, but another shoe that I wanted to point out, and I kind of mentioned it in another video, is the Airs and the Four Paris. Man, I just keep seeing more pictures and more videos and more people actually appreciating this one right here. And I think that's kind of raising the hype. And I'm only bringing this up because you guys know when hype does come about, pairs start selling out crazy and the resale starts to rise like crazy. And I just don't want y'all to sleep. I don't want y'all to think it's going to be like a Jordan 4, you know, oxidized green or military blue. It's not going to be that many pairs made. This is a special edition Air Jordan 4, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's the Air Jordan 4 SE. Yeah, Air Jordan 4 Retro SE Special Edition for the Olympic Paris this year in 2024. So do not sleep on these, man. The quality, the presentation, the box, the jump, man. Everything about these screens, you know, sell out. And, you know, people are definitely going to end up hyping up more than what they're going to be. Probably some people in the comments saying, oh, they trash. That's just because they trying to get, you know, like two, three pair of themselves, man. So make sure you stay tuned. Hit up your local mama pop shop, Jimmy Jazz, and stuff like that. Seeing how they're going to be doing this Arizona 4 Paris Olympic release, which is coming in a couple of weeks, man. I appreciate all the support, man. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video from your boy, The Vintage. We shall see what happens with this crazy restock. I don't know if it's 100% confirmed. I don't know if it's 100% true, if it's going to happen or not. But I'm just here to give you guys updates on what we've been hearing currently in the Steam community. That's what your boy, The Vintage, is here to do, man. I love y'all. Appreciate all the support. If you guys are new here to the channel, like I said, make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell for your boy, and please give a huge like before you slide out to this video. And all that's been said, man, your boy, The Vintage. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video, man. Peace.